Hey everyone, it's Pokemon Tuesday. Today we're drawing Poliwrath, so grab your pen and paper and let's get started. Let's get started at the very top of our page and draw two circles for the eyes. So from the center, we move over towards the left side. Starting from the top, we're drawing that circle. Coming all the way down towards the bottom. We'll round this out and then go back up towards the top. Now we're going to leave a gap in the center and draw the same thing on the right. So we want to line up the top of that circle. Come all the way down towards the same height. Round up the eye and go back up. And now we're going to draw on the eyelid. Let's start from the center of the circle on the inside. Angle up and then out. We'll line this up on the right. Do the same thing. Now we tuck the pupils in underneath the eyelid. So let's start halfway along the eyelid. Starting right here, we draw an oval. Come down and then pull that back up. Let's do the same thing on the right. Coming down and then up. And we'll draw a smaller half oval in the center, at the very top. And we'll fill the outside of the pupil in black. Let's move in between the eyes and draw in the nostrils. We're going to leave a gap in the center, go to the left side, angle down and out. Line this up on the right, do the same thing. I'm just going to flatten off the bottom with a short angle line coming in. We'll connect the top and bottom with an angled line. And then we'll fill the inside of the nostrils. Now I'm going to line up the top of the head with the top edge of the eyes. So from the left, we're going to step in, we're going to curve up and then down on the right. Now let's trace the eyes along the outside. Starting back on the left, we go up, and just pull that down on the side of the eye. Now the arms are going to extend out from the bottom of the eyes. Let's start on the left, and curve the arm going out, then this down, and then just pull that in. Let's go over towards the right side, going out, Rounding out the arm, just want to pull that in towards the same height. And then from the bottom of the arm, we're going to curve in the wrist. We go up and then bend that in. And then we'll add a fold along the top of the arm. Starting back on the left, curve up and bend that out on both sides. Let's go to the inside of the wrist and draw on the first finger. I'm going to start in here, curve in, come down, and then just bend that out. And then we'll round out the center finger. Starting in here, I'm just going to curve down, out. I'm just going to hook that up. Now we want to continue this curve over the first finger. I'm just going to go up and then out. And then we'll tuck the outside finger in behind the center finger. Starting from the outside, come down, round this out, and just tuck that in. Now before we draw on the legs, let's move to the center and draw on that large patch. We we'll start over on the left side, directly underneath the left eye, curve down the middle, back up on the right. Now I'm just going to round up the top and just pull that down in behind the arms. And now I'm going to draw a curve connecting the bottom of each center finger. I start on the left. Come down the middle, round this out, and then go back up. And now that we've drawn in that patch, let's move out and draw on the side of the body. From the left side, I'm going to step out, just follow that same curve, coming down and then in. Let's round out the side of the leg, starting back on the left, go out and then down. And now we're going to overlap the oval shaped feet on top of the legs. From the left, we're going to step in, go out, round out the foot, and just pull that in. It's almost like a half oval. Let's go back to the left side, we'll curve the foot, going in, 
up and just hook that in along the top. And then from the top of the heel, we're going to follow that same curve, going up. We're going to leave a small gap underneath that trim. And we'll overlap the inside of the legs with that same curve. Stepping out, curve down, and then up. Let's go to the center of the body and draw on that swirl. We're going to start right in the middle. Start by going up and out toward the left. Come down. Now I'm just going to continue the swirl this all the way around. Down again. We'll do one more lap. Going up. Down. I'm just going to pull this up towards the right side. Go up towards the top. And down through the left. And stop right about there. Let's go back to the center and thicken up this swirl. We're going to start from the end. It's going to curl this back around. A half circle. And we'll just follow that swirl. Leave an even space gap all the way around. And we'll close off the end with a small half circle. Let's go in and fill that swirl in black. Finish this off along the inside. And that's pretty much it. There's Polyrath from Pokemon. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.